Hi everyone, I hope you read the chapters. We are talking about depreciation and the very first one up that I gave you is straight line. So we're gonna learn three methods here and I'm gonna give you a video for each one. In this problem, which I put on Canvas, all your information's down below for you to follow along on. In this problem, our company purchased a semi tractor trailer for 125,000. That's what I have listed here as our cost. We also have to calculate or subtract what's called residual value. Residual value is also your salvage value, how much your asset is expected to be worth when you have depreciated it or how much it's worth when you're done with it. In this case that I gave you, you'll always have these numbers given to you, but this one was 25,000. So we have to do a simple subtraction. We subtract 25,000 from 125,000, easy math, right? That's 100,000. What that number is, is our depreciation amount. That's how much we depreciate this machine. And you'll see this number later. So I'm gonna switch colors so you can see easier. Now we have to put this in a chart. We're not done with the math quite yet. In a straight line, we depreciate this asset equally every single year. If you look at the information I gave you in Canvas, I told you that the asset was useful for five years. So we're gonna take this depreciation amount, not the cost, the depreciation amount, divided by five years. It says it's five years. So divide that by five years. It should equate in your calculator to $20,000. We're gonna do that evenly over a period of five years. So let's just plug those numbers in. We have year one, year two, three, four, and finally five. Okay, so the very first one, we're gonna have three columns, four and one, but we're gonna have three columns here. We're gonna have annual depreciation expense, which is how much we're expensing. That's this amount that we're finding here. We're gonna do accumulated depreciation, which is just an add up for every year. And then we're gonna have a column called carrying value, which is basically the market value of our asset as we go along. So if you look back at this, just for a little explanation, if you remember in chapter three, when you did adjusting journal entries, you did learn depreciation, or at least you went over depreciation. You learned the journal entry, which the journal entry was to take whatever depreciation amount they gave you, and the journal entry was depreciation expenses, your debit, and your credit for that was accumulated depreciation, which was a contra asset account. This is going to tell you that amount before you learn to do the journal entry with a given amount. This helps you to actually physically calculate it. So again, we're going to do this evenly per year. So it's going to be the same amount every single year, this 20000 This is your expense. So literally just write this down all five years, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, and finally 20,000. That's the part of this. We're gonna skip the accumulated depreciation column just for now, because it's easier to do so. If you like this column, do whatever makes you happy, but for most people it confuses them. So it's easier just to remember that your carrying value is a subtraction column. And your carrying value, again, is the market value. So we're going to start way up here before we even talk about depreciation. We're going to start with your cost. So put it up here in the gray area on your page that I gave you. So $125,000. Now we're just going to literally subtract the expense every single year. So you have $125,000 minus $20,000. In your calculator, that should be $105,000. Then you're literally going to take the next year and subtract that off of there which is 85. All you're doing is taking this number minus this, this number minus this. That's all you're doing every single year. So 85,000 minus 20,000 should get you 65,000. 65,000 minus 20,000 should get you 45,000. And finally, 45,000 minus 20 gets you 25,000. Does that number look familiar? It should, because this should be the same thing as your residual value all the time. Accumulated depreciation. How this carrying value was just a subtraction column. The accumulated depreciation is just an add column. Leave these numbers alone. Literally, how much depreciation have we had here? In year one, we had $20,000. Year two, we have 20 plus 20, 40. Next year, we have 20 plus 20 plus 20. 
next year, 2020, 2020. That's as hard as this is, I swear. 2020, 2020, and finally the last 20 should be 100. And that number should also look familiar. That number should come back to your depreciation amount. So that's an easy way of checking your math here to make sure that you did everything correct is that your carrying value should always go back to your residual value or your salvage value. And your depreciation amount should always be the amount accumulated depreciation because that is that amount. That is straight line. Look for my next video on production method. Bye guys.